So welcome to the Nesta Gorhanga. Currently we're in the wildlife ward. So I'm going to take you through a little bit of the day-to-day -day running of how we work. So in the morning we come in first thing and we check everyone's all okay. And wildlife comes in at any time of the day, so one of us has to be prepared for it to arrive. And this is all the medications which our patients have and the food requirements. We've got our oral rehydration fluids, and then we've got our diets ready for everyone's breakfast. So I'll start with the grey warbler. So every morning we'll get the weight on each of our bird. And then we um, clean out our houses. So we have a really great ground maintenance team. So for all of our zoo patients and wildlife patients, we use um, natural brows that they would have in the wild. So now we're on to our kereroo. Um, so also we wrap them in the towels to protect their feathers and to make them feel nice and secure. Um, because they are wild, they're not used to being handled by humans. So the whole of our morning treatments, it takes us about an hour to two hours, depending on the amount of birds that we have in the hospital. So we keep them remained in the towel. So this has got his medications and some oral rehydration. So we just gently open their beaks and we have a soft silicone tube and we just pop that into their esophagus and then he's ready. So I'll pop him back in his house. Okay, mister. So this kiwi came to us from Zealandia. It was out during the day and also um, showing weird wobbly standing behaviour as well. And we have to be very careful of their delicate beaks. Welcome to our laboratory. I'm just going to give you an overview of what we've got in here. So we do a range of in-house analysis. So here we've got our lead care analyzer where we can test for lead toxicities. And we've got what's called an EPOC. So this gives us blood gases for when we're doing anesthesia. Over here we've got our um, centrifuges for spinning down our blood samples for when we run our tests. We have a fume hood here where we do small post-mortems here. We've got one of our three microscopes. So this one's in use by our vet Val here. And she's looking at a hematology slide. So what that's called a white blood cell count. And this machine here is our biochemistry analyzer. So we're just gonna test um, one of the patient's blood samples. So this is one of our avian patients. So I'm just rotating the sample to mix up the blood. So this checks for dehydration and the level of red blood cells. And for this one, I need to spin it down in the centrifuge and then we pop the lid on and then we'll set that to run. We'll wait for those to process and then I will analyse them. So we're here in the Nestec Ohangas treatment room. Um, in this room, we do uh, a lot of our zoo health checks and our wildlife health checks as well. So today we're health checking a kingfisher. Uh, the kingfisher came in yesterday, he's come from the wild, and we're gonna do some x-rays and have a closer look at him to see if um, we can figure out what's wrong with him. Um, so the x-rays will help, help us look at a lot of the internal structures that are difficult to see from the outside. And the blood tests will tell us about um, the function of certain organs and some other bits and pieces about his overall health. His little beak is inside a face mask. The face mask is attached by all this tubing to our anaesthetic machine. As he falls asleep, um, we'll take him out of the towel, we'll place a few monitoring devices for the anaesthetic, and we'll start taking some x-rays. But the good news is I can't see any broken bones. A blood sample will help tell us what's going on um, inside the bird. So we've turned our anaesthetic off at this stage. We're waiting for our patient to finish waking up. So um, he's probably been caught by a cat, so he's got some injuries, um, but I reckon we can fix those up and get him back out into the wild soon. So I hope you've enjoyed a behind the scenes tour at the Nestical Hunger, and it's given you a brief insight into what we do here.